Hey guys, it's Nicole and today I'm doing a video that I have been wanting to do for so super long and that is my Funko Pop collection. I started collecting Funko Pops just this past July and I've acquired quite a few. Um, not like a super ton, but a pretty good amount. Um, I mainly connect, um, I mainly connect Oh my god. I mainly collect Disney Pops, but I have a few Stranger Things and a few just other ones sprinkled here and there. But I'm super excited to share my collection. I think it's pretty cute so far. Um, there's definitely a lot more that I want to collect. I think I'm just going to go ahead and just start with my Stranger Things ones because I don't have that many. So the first Stranger Things pop that I have, and actually the first pop that I ever got, is Scoops Ahoy Steve, and he is out of box. I actually have eight of them out of box here, so I'll show you the box, but he is super cute. Steve Harrington is probably my favorite character on Stranger Things. I mean, hello, Joe Keery, love you. But this one is super cute. I bought it off of eBay, like, so impulsively, and that's what started my pop collection. So I love him. And then the box here is just super cute as well. So the other Stranger Things pop that I have out of box is Will the Wise, which I got from Target. No, did I? I think I did, but it's not the glow one. This is just the plain version of it, but he is super cute. To be honest, Will isn't really one of my favorite characters on the show at all, but I really do love this pop. I love the detailing, especially like if you look on his like crown here, just like look at that detail. Like, super, super incredible. I think he looks great. I love him. I always forget that I have this one because it's on my shelf, but it's like a little higher. But I have Robin, and I love this one so much. The Scoops Troop was like my favorite part of season three of Stranger Things. And she has the You Rule, You Suck board. If you can see that, can it focus, please? She has the You Rule, You Suck board. So cute. I love it. I love that I have her with Steve, and they're both in their outfits. I also have Dustin you'll see in his like camp outfit and I really want to get Erica so then I have the whole like scoops troop from season as I just loved them so much but yeah I really love this one I got her off of Amazon when it was released I pre-ordered it and I always forget to have it because it's like up here like above my other pops are in the shelf and then I'm like oh I literally didn't even have her like on my Funko like on the um, app where I have my collection so I had to do that today and put her on it and like I just said also from Stranger Things I have Dustin and his camp outfit and it says camp nowhere and he has his full little outfit on and Dustin is definitely one of my favorite characters but I just love this um, I got this one from Walmart I believe I picked it up just like so on a whim I don't know sometimes I pick pops up on a whim and just I want to be more careful about the pops that I get and not just get them just because it's like a good deal or like I think I kind of like them like I want to build my collection in an intelligent like a cohesive way I believe and then the other two Stranger Things pops that I have is I have Max from season three and I could not stand her in season two did not like her at all but I loved her in season three and I love this cute little outfit um, that she had on I think this was like her mall outfit but I got this one off of Amazon I actually had a $10 gift card and it was exactly $10 so I got this one for free technically I love her and she has like her sunglasses on her head and I just think her outfit is so adorable her high-waisted shorts I just really enjoyed her in season three and to go along with her I had been looking for this one for so long I didn't want to buy off of Mercari because it was like 16 bucks and I knew I could get it cheaper and I finally found it one day at Target it was the last one and it's 11 in her cute little mall outfit like I don't think it's the mall outfit technically but she's in like her little like suspenders her like 70s outfit and I or her 80s whatever <laughs> but I think it's so cute and she has her like you can't see it but if you look like on the back you see like how her hair is like tied up and I think she is so adorable and I just wanted her because when I think of like season three I think of them like in these outfits together like at the mall when she like broke up with Mike and so like I just loved that like those episodes and I just love them like two little besties and I just love their little like outfits here so the next pops I'm gonna get into are my Dr. Seuss pops. I'm a big Seuss fan. Don't know why, honestly, like I can't even explain it. Just really like Dr. Seuss. One of my Dr. Seuss's pops is the Cat in the Hat, of course. This is the Box Lunch exclusive Cat in the Hat. And once again, you can't really see it because he's in box, but he does have a cake and a teacup on top of his hat, as you can see right there on the picture. And he also has the umbrella. I think this one is technically called Cat with Umbrella. I 
super duper love him. He is not like my favorite Dr. Seuss character. My favorite is the Grinch, as you'll see in some later pops, but I love him, love the cat in the hat. The first Grinch pop that I will show you is a little beat up on the box, but that's okay. I got this one off of Mercari. It was honestly a really good deal, so I don't even mind. But this is a box lunch exclusive flocked Grinch. This is my only flocked pop. He is holding the roast beast. I love him. Um, he's like the books version of the Grinch, so he's like from like the classic cartoons and everything. I love the back of this, like the cartoon and the detailing on the back of the box. And I just love how they do his eyes in this pop because it's not just like the normal like circular eyes, like they give him like like that kind of scowling look on his eyes and even here like you can see how it's flocked like it just looks incredible from the new Grinch movie which is like my favorite Grinch movie version I love them all but just the new cartoon I just like cannot stop watching I think it's adorable I have the young Grinch and he is so cute he has like big beady eyes I mean all pops do but like I don't know it just like fits his character so well and so he is so adorable I just love him there are so many different versions of him There's there's a Walmart one of him in underwear, there's one of him in a scarf. Those are like kind of expensive now on Mercari. I picked this one up fairly cheap, I believe. I can't remember where I got this. I think it was at um, this certain toy store in Atlanta where I live. I can't remember the name of it exactly. So along with the Grinch, I have two Maxes. So I have Max the dog which is just regular Max, um, just sitting. He is also from the new cartoon movie. He is so adorable. I just loved how they just like animated him in the movie. I thought he was super cute and I love his like floof of hair at the top. I think it's so cute. And so I have Max, the dog, and then I have very similar but different Max with antlers. I think I got this one off of Mercari as well because I don't have an FYE near me so every FYE exclusive I have is definitely from online. But I like this one better than Max. I was considering selling this but then I was like no, I should keep it like hello. Like this is one of the main things I wouldn't want to collect even though they're so similar. But I love Max with antlers. The detailing like you can't even see it. You can see it kind of on the side how they have his like antler tied and they have like the strap on the side and you can see it tied on the top of the antler the detailing of that is probably my favorite thing just not just like sticking just an antler on top and the last Grinch pop that I have is also from the new movie and I really need to get this sticker off on the front because it's like blocking the whole thing but yeah it was five bucks this one was a super bargain but it's little Cindy Lou Who and to be honest probably my least favorite Cindy Lou Who is from the new movie even though I just love the new movie the most in general. I don't hate her. I, I think she's super cute. I just don't like her personality as much in the movie I think is the thing. But the pop is super cute. I love um, her like bows in her hair. So I was gonna say the rest of mine are Disney but no I have three more that are not Disney and then we'll get into my Disney pops. One of my not Disney pops that has left is Elton John. And this is Elton John in his red, white, and blue outfit. There's also one of him on the back. It's like the greatest hits and he's in like a little top hat and a white outfit. Definitely want to get that one soon. But Elton John is one of my favorite singers of all time. Love him so much. So I definitely, this is one of the, this is one of my first 10 at least that I had. Like I got this one super early in collecting. And this is actually the second Funko Pop that I got, but from my last video, you know I'm a huge baseball fan, so I have Ronald Acuna Jr. from the Braves, and I love this one so much. I ordered it off of Hot Topic, I believe, or was it GameStop? And honestly, I think it was GameStop, actually, but I ordered it offline. This is the second pop that I got. And on the back, I love the detailing. I didn't even know it had this until I took it out of the box, obviously. But on the back, it has his number and Acuna Jr. And he's like holding his bat. And it has his high socks. And I just love it so much. The detail is so cute. Like, my bestie. <laughs> I love him. The box is also really cute. I love how it has like all of the MLB logos in the background on the side where it has him and then on the back it lists like a ton of the MLB pops that are available. They're making a Ozzy Albies fuck fuck they're making an Ozzy Albies Funko Pop soon, which is another like one of my favorite Braves players, and they're giving it away in September at one of the games. And I'm so excited to get it. I have to be one of the first 15,000 in the gate to get it. 
and I'm really excited. I'm gonna light up hella early. And that was the problem with this one right here. One of my favorite Braves players of all time is Freddie Freeman, and this is the Freddie Freeman pop that they gave away exclusively to the first 15,000 fans that went to the, I believe it was the game on August 30th. And my friends and I went, and we weren't one of the first 15,000, so how much did I pay for this on eBay? too much <laughs> but it was worth it it's okay though because I paid $40 for this and its pop value currently is 44 so I made a little coin <laughs> so far not that I'm gonna sell him like Acuna he has his number and his name on the back and his bat is different than Acuna's which I just noticed Acuna's bat is brown and black and Freddy's is completely black and I just love the detailing, especially with his like beard because he's like a redhead. And uh, Freddie Freeman is just one of my favorite players. But they're making another version of this pop. And it's basically this pop exactly, but he's in his red uniform. And I'm gonna have to get it even though it's basically the same. But so the rest of the pops that I have are Disney. I have quite a lot of Disney pops. Wow. Um. We're going to start with my Toy Story Pops because I only have two, so that'll be quick to get through. But the first Toy Story Pop that I have is Forky, and I have the GameStop exclusive Forky where he's like scared and not smiling, and I think he's so cute. I'm not a huge Toy Story fan, but I did love Forky's character a lot, a lot, a lot in Toy Story 4, and one day I walked into GameStop and I had been looking for him and he was right on the front of the shelf and it was the only one left and I said, this is a sign that I'm supposed to get him. I just think I love his colors. I love his like bright blue mouth and his like bright red arms and I also love the detailing of like how they like have his arms wrapped around him. I mean I know they're following it, like the character exactly. I just think it's executed very well. They have good texture on the arms as well as you can see like inside. Also from Toy Story, um, I think this is the Toy Story 4 version. Yes it is. Okay so in Toy Story 4 I have green alien I just think he's super cute honestly that's why I got him like I'm not super interested in collecting all the Toy Story Pops but I just I think I'm attracted to his color most of all I just love how like bright he is and he just looks super exciting on my shelf also I love him because I feel like he's very life-size to how they were in the movie if that makes sense like I feel like he could be in the movie like I feel like this is like how they were in the claw machine and everything like the actual size so obviously like the other pops are not actual size of they would be you know what I mean so I think that's one reason why I love him so much and his box I love how they do the Toy Story 4 boxes on the side though I love like the strands how they do this but he is just so cute Moving on from Toy Story, so I have two pops from Moana, and they're just two of my favorite pops. I think they have the most beautiful detailing. Honestly, they're both in the box right now. I low-key want to take them out just because they're so gorgeous, but I have Tefiti and Taka. I'm going to take these out just because, like, the whole reason I wanted them. They're two of my favorite characters, but just the details on them kill me absolutely i don't know why i don't have them displayed out at box right now but so here is tafiti she is so gorgeous absolutely beautiful her eyes are like the dark green and she's just like the beautiful crisp like bright green the flowers around her crown the flowers all on the bottom of her base I just love her. And then shockingly enough, honestly, Taka is even more beautiful than Tafiti. Just her detailing is just even more incredible to me. I am absolutely in love with this pop. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. Like this is incredible. The spiral where her heart should be and just like the flames and the cracks down here. But honestly, this is just like, it's just beautiful and I love like how they do her face where she has like still her like iconic face but it looks more of like the Funko version with like the big eyes but I'm 
completely in love with this pop. It has to be one of my top 10 absolute favorites. Ah, and she's like holding the flame in her hand, getting ready to throw it at Moana. I could go on and on about this pop. <laughs> it's just like, it's just the most detailed one that I have, honestly. The next category of Disney pops that I have is probably we can do Wreck-It Ralph. I have three Wreck-It Ralph pops, starting with Ralph himself. These are from Ralph Breaks the Internet, so Record Ralph 2, and he is such a heavy pop. Like, I know he's like a big character and all. He has a huge head, but he also has a huge body. So like, this is pretty heavy. He just, I love his detailing. I think they make him look very cute. He's cute in the movie, but I think his pop is even cuter. I just feel like his, like, the big eyes fit him really well. They have, like, his overalls falling off. His, like, he's, like, in his fists. He's super cute. I do love him a lot. He is one of my favorite characters in the movie, but my favorite character in the movie has to be Miss Vanellope von Schweetz. And I... Oh, this is another one that I feel like I need to take out of the box because I do love the detail on it so much. I looked so high in love for this pop. It's not a GameStop exclusive, but I remember one time I saw it at GameStop and I was like, I don't need to buy pops right now. I was like, I need to save some money. And I regretted it because I never saw her again. Um, I'm 99% sure I ended up buying this off from Mercari. Her detailing is so cute. She's like the cutest pop ever. I love her. I think my favorite part is just how they like sprinkle all the candy throughout her hair, like all the way in the back. And I love her like a little peppermint on the side. She's a little scratch on her ear. Oh my gosh. I caught her. She did not hit the floor. I just love her hair and like the candy. Oh, she has gummy bears in her hair. Look at those. They're precious. I also like the detailing on the box of the Record Ralph Pops um, from 2. But I love just kind of like the digital kind of looking, you know, that follows throughout. Um, also continued on the back here. The third and final Wreck-It Ralph pop that I have is Nosemore, and I think he is just too cute. Of the like new characters from Wreck-It Ralph, he has to be my favorite. I just think he's a super cute pop. I love his color. I think color's um, a thing that attracts me to pops if I like am not super in love with their character. Uh, I also love, 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 I forgot to mention this, on all of them, I love how the numbers are in a circle that say click here. That just has to do with like, you know, Ralph breaks the internet, like the theme of the movie. And I just really love that detailing on these pops. And then I have two pops from The Lion King. And one of them is Luau. Luau, Lu why can I not say that word? Luau, 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 Luau. Why am I saying that? I feel like that's so completely wrong. Whatever, you know what I mean. Luau, Pumbaa. He, I, he doesn't have a lot of detailing, but I bought him along with Luel Timon, and I feel like they just go together in the set. But the only really difference of him is that he just has a apple in his mouth. Probably, I guess, because they normally serve like pigs with apples in their mouth at like parties, and a Luel is a party, and he's a warthog pig. Using my brain here to connect these context clues. Luel Timon. He's currently out of box. I have him right here. But Luol Timon is so cute. I love his outfit. I'm a meerkat fan. I just love meerkats in general. And I love his little outfit here. I think it is absolutely spectacular. Again, love it because I love the colors. Like, love this. Like, his color of his hair on the back. But his little flower and his little... These are not called boas. His little lei and his hula skirt and his cute little ears like pulled back. Oh, he is so cute out of box. But I also love the side of the box in here. It just kind of looks like a little like sunset. Speaking of hula, we might see I don't even want to get into those yet. We might as well. I have quite a many stitch pops. Starting with the first one that I got was Valentine Stitch. A classic his little he has such big ears that's what kills me about him is that he like doesn't sit well out of box on shelf because his ears are so far back he like hits the box also has a huge head he's very top heavy <laughs> but he does sit up well but I love his little be mine and it's like oh his little paw print is on it too I just noticed that the next stitch pop that I got was stitch 626 I got this one off of Mercari he is in the collection with the 
almighty Elvis stitch that I will probably never acquire in my lifetime. Um, I love his like snarl on his face. <laughs> you can't really see it when he's in box because his ear on here almost covers it. But if you look closely on the side, you can see how his mouth is like kind of like growling. I think that's so cute. I love his outfit. It reminds me of how many arms he has. Does he always have four arms or is that like certain occasions? Cannot really remember, <laughs> honestly. The third stitch pop that I have is just seated stitch and gosh, is he cute. Oh, he is the cutest little thing. I just love how he sits. He sits so precious. Like look at him right there. He's just like the classic little plain stitch, which I like because all my other stitch are like themed ones, you know, that have been released. I just think he's absolutely adorable. I love him so much. The last two stitch pops that I have are the two brand new Hot Topic exclusive ones and they're just like the cutest things. The amount of times I've said cute in this video is probably appalling, but I have Hula Stitch and I love him so much. I just love his expression on his face. I think is literally absolutely fantastic. He just looks so happy and so excited. His little outfit is adorable. I love the side of the box. Since this is how I like to display mine, I really always appreciate the design on this side of the box. It literally looks like he's just standing on a beach here like dancing. But yeah, I ordered this one on Hot Topping and I picked it up in store along with summer stitch oh i had been freaking waiting for this one since they like talked about it being released i just think he is such an original looking pop the detail on the ice cream on his tongue is probably my favorite thing on this um i just think it looks so incredible it just literally looks like he's smearing it on his tongue like i think it is so detailed and so nice and i just realized that he's like standing on the same beach as hula stitch that's adorable. I can't wait to put them side by side on my display. So the other character that I have just as many as I have of Stitch Pops is Olaf. I'm honestly not even that huge of a Frozen fan, but I do love Olaf. The first, I don't even know which Olaf pop I got first. My favorite one is probably Olaf with kittens. I just think it's so cute. His little hat on is so cute too, and there's really good detailing in his hat. Um, it's like looks like a little knit hat. He looks so happy. I actually ordered this one from Mer someone off of Mercari told me that they accidentally had already given that one away and I was like oh it's fine he was like I can send you Summer Olaf instead and I didn't have that <laughs> so I got this one so I have Summer Olaf which I think is again just such a cute character he has his sunglasses on ready to like hang out in the sun and he has a beach ball and I just always love Olaf's expressions and they have his like front teeth so cute this one I love when it came in a pot protector when I bought off of Mercari which I absolutely appreciate so much but I have up upside down Olaf and this is probably the Olaf that I wanted the most. I just thought it was so original and cool but it's a Hot Topic exclusive and I just think it's so cute. Like there's a little face but it's upside down. I don't know why I love it so much. And then when I picked up Hula Stitch and Summer Stitch I also picked up, you can't even like see it in the box. Maybe I should take it out. But I got Olaf with Bruni and Bruni is like my favorite character from Frozen 2 but oh I didn't even notice Olaf's body on this one. I don't think I've taken this one out a box yet. This is Olaf with Bruni and I love him so much. I didn't even notice that his body has like the little like snowflake pattern on it. I'm obsessed. There's little Bruni on top. I'm obsessed with that little thing. I have two pops left and these are both Disney princesses kind of, but the only diamond glitter that I have is Glitter Tinkerbell and I absolutely love her. I just love the glitter detailing on like her wings and her outfit. Like I think this is such a good one to get glitter of because when you think of Tinkerbell anyways, you already think of glitter. So it just makes sense to get her like already glittered up. Hot Topic exclusive, but I got her off of Mercari. So that's where I get all my freaking pop clearly and then the last pop of the whole video we're down to the last one is an out of box but it is the walmart exclusive like glittery translucent rapunzel and so she's basically like any of the rapunzel you can get but her dress is sparkly see i'm pretty sure that's the only difference is that her dress is like a little translucent and sparkly but her detailing look at that like look at her freaking hair how beautiful the flowers are i'm absolutely in love 
I like I just love her so much she was one of the first 15 I got maybe first 10 not really sure possibly first 10 though but she was pretty early in my collecting but that is it for my Funko Pop collection thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed my collection I just really love them and cherish all these cute little pops a lot and stay tuned for more videos coming soon if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't and I will see you guys super soon in my next video <laughs> bye are you still there to delete this message? What are you talking about?